Hello everyone, this is Mumbo and welcome to day 4 of the Redstone Advent Calendar. And in this one, we're going to be taking a look at a really awesome Redstone contraption that I like to call the Automatic Cauldron Swapper. Now for anyone who's been on my channel for a very long time indeed, you guys might remember the original version of this one. Unfortunately, it was really quite big, it used a ton of redstone resources and also was quite complicated to build. So the other day I decided to head back to the drawing board, come up with a few new designs and I have to say, pretty chuffed with what I came up with. Now the idea behind this one is fairly simple and also fairly pointless. If we just take all of the water out of this cauldron here, you can see it gets retracted down into the ground and then a new one replaces it full of water, ready to do all of your potion brewing and all those sorts of things. Now of course that this runs on a piston feed tape, so you can see we've got a bunch of cauldrons out the back. So we've got a plentiful supply, or I guess you could say quite a large cauldron magazine to go through before we run out of ammo. As I say, this is a fairly silly little design and it's probably just a little bit stupid, but I just think the redstone behind it's really quite cool. So now I'm going to try my best to explain to you how all of this works. So first off, we've got a comparator which takes an output from this cauldron right here. Of course, this is the brains of the circuit and decides when the whole thing has to fire. So when that comparator turns off, all of this redstone will turn off and this piston right here will retract. That will drop the comparator down into the piston feed tape and then after that, we've got this redstone torch right here, which runs into this other redstone torch right here, which runs into this piston, which will retract a redstone block powering this monostable circuit, which will then run into our piston feed tape, which will cycle around all of the cauldrons, and then we will get a tiny little pulse going through into the piston, which will push it upwards, and then our comparator will power, and that will reset the entire system. Now I know that was probably quite a big jumble of words and I'd be quite surprised if any of you guys managed to follow along there, but that's everything that's happening in this circuit. Now as always, there is a world download down in the description for anyone that wants to check this one out. Chuck it into your Minecraft world saves folder and just have some fun with it. Perhaps play around with a redstone, take a closer look around, see if you could work out everything, or just take all of the water out of the cauldrons. I don't really mind what you do with it, as long as you don't blow it up with TNT, because that's just that's just not okay. But anyway, now that the world download part is out of the way, how about we check out how to build it? So we want to get things started with a 5x7 area. The first thing we're going to do is place a block down like that, a sticky piston facing upwards, and then that is of course going to have our cauldron on top, but we're not going to be doing that just for the minute. And you want to place a comparator running across like this, as going to be running out into this repeater right here, with a block like that, block down at the bottom here with redstone dust on top of that one, then a block here, repeater running straight into that block that is going to be powering that sticky piston right there. Then you want to place redstone torch, block with redstone dust on top, another redstone torch, and then a sticky piston facing across with a redstone block on its face. Next to that redstone block, you want to place a dropper facing upwards, hopper running down into that one, and you want to place blocks on either side with comparators running out like this. They are both going to be running out into blocks, then you just want to get things started by placing a block over here with a repeater running straight out into this block right here. That's going to have redstone dust on top. Then you want to place two blocks running across like this with redstone dust on top of both of those and a regular piston right there. That is going to be the start of your piston feed tape. But then you want to place a block right here, repeater set to four ticks running straight into that block there. They block like this regular piston facing across but also you want to take a redstone output from down at the bottom here and you want to run a redstone round like this and then place a repeater set it to four ticks running straight into that piston then you want to head over to this side place an upside down half slab right there with redstone dust on top that's just to make sure that this piston doesn't get powered then you want to place a block here redstone dust right there another block right there with a repeater and then you want to run that into a block with blocks going all the way up across like this and they're going to be running into that piston right there. So we're going to run redstone up like that and a repeater, set it to three ticks. Then you want to place your regular piston facing across like this. Then you want to head over to the other side. We're going to be running that out into a regular piston as well. And that will be pretty much everything done. So it's just a regular piston right there. And that is your piston feed tape in place. Now we're going to place in all of the cauldrons. So you want to place a cauldron right here because those are going to be the first ones to move and we're going to run that right away across like this. We're going to leave a gap right there and then you want to place cauldrons in like that and do it all the way up to this point right here. Leave a gap there and then of course this one is going to be on top of your piston. Then you want to grab your water and just place it on the inside of all of these cauldrons right here and that will be pretty much everything completed. You just have to set this repeater right here to four ticks. I apologize, made a bit of a mistake. But anyway, to get this thing up and running, the first thing you need to do is power this piston right here so that it all extends at powering all of those comparators and things. Then you want to take out that redstone torch. Then finally, you want to go around the back 
and place a non-stackable item on the inside of this dropper and you should be good to go. So if we remove the water from this cauldron right here, we can see that everything retracts and everything is working absolutely fine. So now we can remove the water once again, the whole thing cycles round and our cauldron is reloaded. But unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I've got time for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.